Hey folks, it's Jir and welcome back to Let's Play Earth of Fire and 4 as the uh, Byzantium Empire. And we're now, have joined the Axis and we're going to go to war against our friends, the British. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, man. Let's line up some bombers here. Let's start bombing crap up in uh, Northern Africa. Alright, let's see. Naval invasions. 14 days left for sheep. Alright, let's start that. Hungary is capitulated. Let's use these 24 guys to line up against Turkey. And let's go ahead and capture everything down to Francis. Oh, we cannot. Are we at war? Yeah, we're at war with France. German Reich is going against Luxembourg. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can do it if you want. Not me gonna judge you. Don't think it's a wise idea, just Luxembourg. I'll have gone against much more than that. But, you know, that's probably just me. Guess let's start building more light things, please. We got the uh, industrial capacity to do so. Now we need to trade some uh, steel, rubber, all of that. Steel, rubber, we're still trading with the Netherlands. They're still good friends in this war. Now we need some oil from the Soviets. Let's trade that in. Let's go. We're about to reclaim Anatolia. And we have the naval invasion of Sip. Cyprus. So Cyprus has been navally invaded. Glory to the invasion of Cyprus. So let's start another naval invasion from here against France. And what was that sound? It was the sound of naval invasion, but I don't see any naval invasion going on. And how is the war going for Germany and Italy? I'm, I've, I have a strong feeling that it is gonna get wiped out here because they I don't know what they're doing they have way too many troops in the in Africa stupid AI stupid AI and yeah, we got some uh, sunken convoys here some guardians attacking us that's okay it doesn't scare us right And uh, still need a few more days. The People's Republic of China has surrendered. Bad news for China. Alright, let's launch these air naval attack. Let's get these guys ready. Come on. Let's go. Oh, so we have some Australians here. Defending. Oh, Luxembourg already capitulated. Okay, so we'll probably not be able to take that piece of land, but here seems like we will be able to. Yes. So let's line up everybody here. Let's go capture everything like that. Yeah, that will be the objective here. So guys, get moved. We lost, uh, we sunk three convoys here. It seems like we'll fail our naval invasions due to some uh, enemy troops laying around here. Who are you? Two divisions. Two freaking Australian divisions. That's almost sad. Yeah, didn't work true. Right, no problem. Research, we still have two research to do, so let's grab decryption and let's start working some naval crap here. New submarine sounds like a great plan. We've got naval combat here done, that's good. We've got some air wings with no mission. Let's go to Crete. Also, no, no, Cyprus. We were at Crete. The other Cyprus, and let's start moving the Middle East to uh, get some some air power there. 
and we got our divisions in position here. Friends going for nukes. Yeah, that's not good. We're almost finishing reclaiming Anatolia. Get some free naval dockyards. Let's build in some uh, battleship one. Let's build two of them to the big fleet of battleships and craps. And we're now ready. And let's start advancing. And we're reclaiming Anatolia. Let's see if they accept. Because otherwise then uh, we can reclaim. Already reclaimed that crap here. Let's go for extra research after. Well, I mean right now. Let's see if... Uh, Ooh, Turkey wasn't wise enough to surrender everything. So let's declare retaking cores against them. Let's launch that attack and uh, that attack. Yeah. Turkey join in the allies. We got naval invasion sound and Asia minor. I don't know what you guys are gonna do. Seems like there's a few units trying to go across. We'll see what that gives. And that unit needs to move right here and to invade Tel Aviv and crap. And we're now gonna take Suez Canal. So these guys really need aggressive stance right now. Because uh, the enemy has nothing to oppose us and they're just doing nothing. So that's not good. Alright, just start attacking this way. Please. I mean, all these units can just move in, swoop in. As you look, Caro. No, no, no. You're moving all to Caro. And you surround these guys. I'll need one of you to move there afterwards. Uh, we're getting attacked already. So let's move in more Orsis to defend. And really, 10 units right there. God damn it, this AI sometimes makes me questions in life and stuff. And we want to grab all these peoples and assign them to this objective. And what the hell is going on here now? I don't know. So we're running a bit short on supplies, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, we got some unread naval combat here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very bad. We just lost our uh, sub fleet, I think. Shit. Anyway, Ankara fell, so Romanians triumphing here. And I told you, atrocity. Yeah. Good evening, this is William Tattle. Anatolia has been no stranger to tragedy in recent decades. And if reports are to be believed, the Byzantine and Turkish are again not keeping the slaughter for the battlefield. Word of villages and of an entire town raised has reached this reporter. Innocent murdered. Many more forced to flee with only belonging they could carry. Appeals to the League of Nations to take action have so far been answered only with vague promises to do something. That sucks. It's you know it's part of that part of the world. Always the same story. And wow, friends just walk into Italy. Yeah, Jerusalem has been taken. That's very nice. And we got some sandstorms near. Very bad sandstorms. And we're still moving forward. Just gonna surround that tank. I don't think it'll stand a long, long time. This unit is ready to attack. Just to hold down the enemy for a little while longer. We're moving up north. Uh, we're still pushing into Turkey. Once Turkey is done, we will redeploy our troops against Italian front. Italy is winning in uh, Western Africa with 
tremendous success, but they're losing. Germany is pushing into France. They broke the Maginot Line. Whew. That will be an interesting outcome, this war. I don't know how it turns out. We got some uh, naval invasion in Greece and stuff. But I don't think they ever make it to actually our country and stuff. We'll see how that turns out too. But now we have Suez Canal as they're interesting and important. And we're still pushing in. And it seems like Germany really wanted to take uh, Africa with me because they moved in a lot of troops. And Italy is taking the southern part of Africa. Hmm. Anyway, we're slowly pushing into uh, Germany here. Just slowly, ever so slowly moving forward. Creeping and inching forward. Ooh, Alexandria is wide open for the taking. Oh, god damn. No, 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 no. D don't you guys ever dare leaving Alexandria now. I mean, that's literally like cutting them off of the main source of supplies and stuff. That's so incredible. But yeah. If we're having a hard time with France, that's much less incredible. At least uh, Germany forces the French to backtrack north. Even though we're still lacking steel, meanwhile. So let's increase our steel importation. And yeah, everybody seems happy around here. Still moving forward in Africa. Alexandria is under control. Very nice. And we're just taking control of another important city here. And all these guys need to move forward now. Work together. Uh, seems like France backed all their units. I don't know where to move them though. And Turkey is losing the ground war very quickly. And we're ready to modify our government. It can go for all adults. Must serve. But we still have 1 million so war seems like war economy is the best choice let's grab war economy right now and we're still pushing into africa ooh very nice war seems to be going well into favor let's see how germany will throw it up though probably try to attack russia or something okay we'll surround these troops here move here please and we got some more eastern mediterranean sea supposed invasion but they don't do crap i guess they're trying but they get in sunk in the way so it's like kind of a failure got some extra research slot and german just reclaimed memel i'll be okay i'll be okay Landing craft still too far ahead. Uh, artery 1939. Let's research that. Artery 2. We got no national focus set. So let's go for nuclear effort. Nah, let's go for armament. And we'll work down our way with nautical and aerial nautical after. Because I definitely always forget about them until I already researched all the text. So it's not really useful. It's kind of useless. So I'll use it next. After researching the next fighter plane, of course. Alright, so these 13 divisions. You guys will move south to invade the United Kingdom. And you'll keep pushing until the end. We got Engineer Company 2 ready. Very nice. Let's go for Recon 2. And we can modify a bit uh, the setups we have here. Because we do now have enough army experience to do so. Let's get some engineers. Let's get some recon. And let's get some art three on these guys. And save that for 50 points. How about these guys? These guys, no, no, we don't need anything. We'll need to upgrade the tanks with maintenance company. And do we add in support artillery? We add in some HP, some defense, some breakthrough. 
Very little. A lot of soft attack, though, so let's just save that because we can. And that will be enough. And we do have some divisions here. Let's, uh... Let's create a new army group here. These will be more defensive units. Let's line it up in, uh... Our territory here. Let's do a line of defense here. And we'll see what Germany is planning to help us out. But yeah, very good push in uh, all that Africa. These two divisions, these guys. Right, these guys just trash everything. Come back here. To launch a naval invasion from here into Marseille and your city beside it. oh you need to go this way for some reasons but yeah yeah let's just do a naval invasion like that wait for you guys to prepare and we'll line up more units once you guys are ready to launch the attack we need some steel and oil so German Reich trade me some steel Soviet Union trade me some oil and uh, what the hell are you doing freaking Germany and right here please please move forward please move forward let's go to Batman <laughs> that's actually a pretty funny name Batman. Where are you coming from, dude? I'm coming from Batman. Alright, so the ruins of Antioch are now our ordeared possession. Now let's capture that small piece parcel of territory so that uh, Italy start expanding its own stuff. And, uh. Ooh. Yeah. Soviet Union declared war on Poland. Hmm. Hmm. That will be quite interesting to see how it turns out. And we got some insufficient resources, and we don't have any polis, and it seems like we get a lot of stuff destroyed. So we need to start forming some polis task forces. And China capitulated. And it actually became uh, Italian. God damn it. I don't know what decides if it becomes Italians or Romanian. Anyway, I want everything to be Byzantium, of course, logically. Hmm. Can these guys need to be a little bit less reckless in their invasion of Batman? <laughs> Batman. That's 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 so funny. Why is it called Batman? We just took possession of some city, I don't know which one. There's some unread naval convoys. And I try sunk us up. But it didn't work as they planned to. Now we got some uh, grains and marines ready to attack. And uh, that's like probably 50 days. Yeah, 56 days to get ready to invade uh, southern France. And that's okay. Turkey just capitulated. Thank you, Turkey, for capitulation. Let's go ahead and get some own defense. Alright, combat, that's good. Air wing, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, Turkey capitulated to the right guys. We're now gonna capture the remnant of the territory here. And these guys. These guys gonna move here so let's line up here like that 24 divisions are ready and they'll move into France as soon as they can okay very nice these 20 wands uh, I guess we can line up against Iraq just you know so we get something to invade yeah just like that 
very nice and well made. And Italy is still having a pretty harsh time against France. France is just taking everything from Italy. I don't want to liberate Italy because I don't like them. I think they suck. But hey, it seems like they're taken out in Africa. They have such a hard time with all their troops. They have like 50 million troops there. And yet they can do crap. God damn it, Italy. How do you even do? How do you even do? It's all these units just moving to capture everything here will be fine. That's integrated support completed. So now let's go ahead and research fighters too. How many days? 229, yeah, it makes sense. I thought for a moment it was like a few days, but no, it's way much in that. Alright. I'm a bit afraid of... Uh, what, Italy? Why are you giving me your troops? Why do you give me all your troops, Italy? For oh, freaking hell's sakes. Uh, I just form up a new group, a new theater. They gave me 20 divisions, where are they? Where are your 20 divisions, Italy? Yeah. Some lost a little bit everywhere. Yeah, definitely some lost a little bit everywhere. Yeah, pretty much all in my territory though. For some weird reasons. For some really weird reasons. All in my territory. Let's line them up all together. Let's get a new general. Let's promote him. A field marshal. Let's line up here in Italy. Let's just get ready to retake everything with these Italian forces. But I don't think that what gonna happen. Maybe we'll just get some more Italian troops there. Getting ready to fight and defend themselves. And it will be enough for another episode, folks. So this is you. We have enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to drop a like, a share, and a comment. Make sure to subscribe for more. See you next time.